pajama day because I like pajamas. Hello and welcome to Early Childhood Ireland's podcast. I'm Maura Corbett and I work with Early Childhood Ireland. To mark National Pajama Day this year, we're having some special edition podcasts, both with beneficiaries of the funds that National Pajama Day has raised in the past. And we're also going to be chatting with some members of Early Childhood Ireland about the fun that Pajama Day brings to their settings. So today I'm delighted to be joined by Denise Fitzgerald, the CEO of the Children's Health Foundation in Temple Street. Um, so this is the charity that supports sick children and their families in Temple Street and Crumlin Hospital. This is done in a variety of ways from new services and innovations, vital life-saving equipment, finding new cures and smaller things that make such a huge difference to children and their families, things like play therapy and pet therapy. So, Denise, you're really welcome, and I'm looking forward to uh, chatting with you today. Thanks, Maura. Thanks for having me. So, Denise, can you um, outline the projects that uh, Early Childhood Ireland's National Pajama Day has helped to, to fund uh, for the Children's Health Foundation? Absolutely. Oh, just firstly, on behalf of all the parents, uh, patients and staff here in the hospital, just like to say thank you so much to everyone from Early Childhood Ireland, the Pajama Day. Um, but also we did a really innovative initiative that was one of the first of its kind in Temple Street and it was supported by the Pajama Day. Um, it's called a ketogenic diet and it's for children who have really complex um, epilepsy conditions. And what we did was this diet can help parents reduce or eliminate in some cases some of the medications that are required. And we, um, the Pajama Day Fund and the Foundation uh, Matched Funding allowed it to be put onto a training system online for parents. And that, that was really important for two reasons. One, it allowed parents to do it at a time when they had the space and the mindset. So it could be at home at night whenever everybody's gone to bed and they have an hour or two to understand what's required. And they find that kind of give them a little bit of power back and uh, they were in control of it. But also it meant when they come up to Dublin then to meet with the dietitians that they could actually spend time talking to the dietitian about what it meant for their child only. So the dietitians weren't tra training them three to four times or three or four meetings. They had one really intense concrete meeting about their own individual child and um, one of the mums actually said just you know, what she described was it's given us our little girl back before this she was so tired and exhausted from many seizures every day that she's actually not seizure free but much more manageable and it's just given her a little bit of life back so I suppose on behalf of mums like that and dads and parents grandparents everywhere just want to say thank you to Early Childhood Ireland Pajama Day for for making all that possible and for helping support these kind of new initiatives that make a massive difference um, to many people from all over Ireland from like we have children from uh, Cork, Galway, Donegal, you know Dublin, Dundalk, Wexford it, it's from everywhere in the Midlands and what we want to do is ensure that when they need that support, they have it. And being able to provide this training for this really unique and special diet, it's really helped families and it's really helped the kids in particular. So just thank you. Like I, I can't thank you enough. And I suppose the beauty of a project like that is that it enables children to be at home more rather than in, in, in hospital and that parents, like you say, have a, a more more say and more control over the yes. care of, the, of their child. Absolutely. What, it, when we were surveying parents to find out what they needed and what they felt would help them, like a couple of key items that we, I suppose, earmarked as trying, it's, just, it's expensive. Not only the travelling to Dublin, if, you know, if you're it's two hours at best from Cork City to Dublin and back, and if you're do, doing that every day, the cost of petrol, the car diesel, the cost of maybe childcare for getting someone to look after your child when you're doing these things. If you're doing that four to five times just to learn about something, it's expensive and it's, it's, it's a huge burden on families. So what we were trying to do is take that burden away as much as possible, give them time back at home with their own children, but also 
time whenever it suited them. So it's not, you know, an eight to six, one day or two days a week, but much more when they can manage that time. So they can absorb and learn easier. And it's, it's much, as you said, it's about that control. When you have it, what parents tell us, when you have a child with such complex needs, you might be meeting various, the multidisciplinary team and, you know, the surgeons or the doctors, the um, dietitians, the physios, and you, you're, you're in a system and you're, you know, you're meeting people at different times. This actually was the one thing that they could do in their own time when it suited them at their leisure. And that that meant a lot because that little bit of control and then as they learned about the diet and how to do that, that makes a big difference. And the diet itself is it, it's kind of it's a balanced protein, high fat, low carbs. So when you look at what that means, parents will say, well, actually, it's about our mindset and it's helped us think about it differently going into it because it is it's tough work and the little child and you know yourself what two to three year olds can be like if they're fussy eaters at the best times but and and the child has to have a special diet apart from everyone else it's, it's learning about those things and we had it interactive as well so with some parents tell them this is what we found worked and you know we had some challenges here this is how we overcome them so it became really meaningful and it's a source of support as well so that was phenomenal and over 60 percent of the inpatients in temple street itself are actually from outside dublin so it's it's really getting into every corner in ireland in terms of helping people and that support and i suppose somebody once said to me you never know who you're helping and i said no but isn't that the beautiful thing about actually supporting someone it could be your neighbor it could be your cousin it could be your friend in cork or dublin or in donegal but all of those people because of this national service need to be cared for here and those specialists are here so that's kind of really meaningful such a difference and I suppose yeah. to wrap up Denise you, you had a couple of testimonials there that you mentioned when we were chatting yeah. um, and I think that's a good uh, a good way to to wrap up um, our little chat today Do absolutely you want to some of those out yeah um, I, I just spoke to some families just to say like what does it mean to you? And uh, one just one mum said, look, it is a 2000% improvement in our quality of life as a family. We can be a family. And um, one dad actually said, we have much more hope for his future. You know, day to day, the diet is it's difficult and challenging to manage. But actually, when you see the fruits of what has given us in terms of a family life and his kind of quality of life, it makes such a profound difference. And then the one that always gets me is it's just given us our little girl back before this diet. She was so exhausted and now she's back and that it's life changing. And I suppose on behalf of those mums, dads, grannies, granddads everywhere, um, just to say thank you to National Pajama Day um, by Early Childhood Ireland and Thank you for the profound efforts you're making for so many children from all over Ireland. And the beautiful thing about the, the, the programme is that we're able to share all our learnings now with our colleagues in Crumlin. So the system has been rolled out there um, in Cork, Belfast and um, at an adult level in St. James's. So even though COVID has many challenges, we were actually really lucky that we had this done and we've been able to make such a difference. So thank you to everybody involved and for supporting all these families and children. Denise, thank you so much. That's uh, just so heartwarming. No, Mamora, great. thank you. Like, uh, we can't thank you enough for everything these have done for us. Like, really. Yeah. Yeah. So, so thanks so much for everything. Please just let everyone know that we appreciate us so much. And thanks so much for, for talking to us. And if you haven't already registered for Pyjama Day, uh, go on to earlychildhoodireland.ie and you'll find the link to register for Early Childhood Ireland's National Pyjama Day, which is taking place on the 19th of November this year. So thanks again, Denise. Thanks, Maura. Good luck, everyone.